and welcome back. It's our monthly visit with John Fawcett from the National Weather Service, and we have something definitely to talk about. Last Friday, that monsoon pattern, we saw a big storm system move on through and had a good hit of rain. This is actually some video of the Chihuahua Stadium. That game was obviously rained <laughs> out. You can barely tell what was going on here, but that is actually over at Southwest University Park. And this is some awesome hail video that we also have. Uh, I believe we have some flood video that we can get to in a second as well. I just want to let this video roll as, John, you talk a little bit about what happened on our Friday. Well, that was like day four of an unusual July pattern where you had the monsoon moisture, but you also had westerlies from the Pacific, sort of like the jet stream of, of sorts, giving us vertical wind shear. That means severe thunderstorms. So not only the flash flooding you would expect during uh, this time of year, but also large hail and damaging winds. So, uh, and, but that, that pattern has changed, it's just the monsoon pattern now, but with El yeah. Nino around this summer, you wonder, is that going to happen again? Yeah, and that's the big question. Yeah. I mean, that was a nasty hit we had. We had a lot of roadways that were damaged as a result. Mm -hmm. And I want to show that graphic our, from our Friday storms. This is what John was just mentioning. This is the monsoon pattern. It was really that perfect situation for us where we had that moisture pump overhead that gave us all the available moisture. I know that a record was set over at where you work at the National Weather Service office in well, Santa Teresa. At our office. Yes, it's only been over there for 20 years or so, mm -hmm. but still, 2.95 inches is quite, quite a bit of rain. Quite an amount of and, rain. And then a little earlier, I think we had 68 mile per hour wind gust, and so uh, west side had quarter size hail. So uh, yeah, it was quite a quite a deal there. Now, in the monsoon pattern, that flooding is not. Uh, to be unexpected. You're going to yeah. have more of that. It's this damaging wind and, and quarter size hail type thing. Will El Nino be uh, uh, bringing a little more of that? It's, it's a question. We haven't dealt with this yeah. before. Something so. we we'll have to keep tracking yeah. as we move forward. Now, we want right. to talk a little bit about flash flood safety because we obviously saw that occur on our Friday. So, these are just a few quick tips that John, maybe we can go over here, starting with, of course, that. This is something that people sometimes see and they think, oh, I can make it through it. We always say what? Turn around, don't, don't drown. drown. It's the famous last words, you know, especially if you've been through it before. That's your worst enemy, huh? That doesn't mean you're going to make it through again. Yeah. You'd be surprised about the power of moving water. It's, it's amazing. And unfortunately, people uh, make that mistake and they become a statistic. Yeah, and, and we wanted to remind folks that when we talk about watches and warnings, a watch means there's that possibility of it. A warning means this is eminent. It's going to happen or it's already happening. Right. Finally, I want to tap on the fact that this past Friday we had a lot of viewer reports and people who have rain gauges but don't know how to become involved with the National Weather Service. There's something called COCORAS, which is a community of volunteers that help map and measure precipitation. They send the info to you guys. You guys do the mapping. Um, and can you talk a little bit about that briefly? Well, I will tell you about the benefits. It's been yeah. awesome. Awesome for the National Weather Service Absolutely. and other uh, weather enthusiasts as well. Because, uh, for example, when there was uh, 2.95 inches at our office, mm -hmm. at my house nearby, you know, only five miles away, there was uh, barely an inch. Okay. And it gets even more drastic than that. Sometimes over a couple of miles, an inch versus a trace. Cocoa rods can really fill in those gaps. Whereas if you look at the official weather measurements, you're just going to see uh, a couple of un unrepresentative yeah. reports if you want the whole picture. Cocoa rods, go, go to cocoaraws.org and find out how to sign up and, right. and get yourself a rain gauge there. And that, that would really help. Well, John, thank you very much. And I'll post that info online as well so that anyone who's interested in helping out the National Weather Service and us here at the station as yes. well, because our group yes. of meteorologists, we check those numbers as well. That's right. I'll post that online at kvia.com. We'll be right back.